um, good morning once again. A couple of um, announcements from the Sen Academy team. Uh, according to the feedback that we've gotten from the guest speaker yesterday, Professor Ching Wang, she was um, very delighted and happy about the feeling that she, was, she got from the community in terms of the questions that was asked and uh, how the, in, the session was very interactive. And uh, yeah, we are looking forward to doing more with uh, her. And then we are getting the good feel from the community and that is what we want. So, um, and there's going to be the interim submission that you would um, turn into the, the first interim submission. It has been clearly um, stated on the challenge documents. And if anybody has any question regarding that, you can reach out and ask. Um, today, we want to um, get a feel of how you are doing so far in the with nine slash 10 challenge, how the learning has been, any blockers you're facing either individually or as a team and um, any um, questions that you have uh, and then if you you know if you take having your um if you're taking your breakfast we would like to know how that is going and um the team feeling in terms of the how the the the, the group work has been for you um who wants to start us off this morning we can take nominations as well as a yeah, hand raise would be good as well. Mike, you're taking. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. How are you? Yeah. Very fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, well, today we had a meeting uh, with my team members. Uh, we have already divided the tasks that we're going to do for the interim submission. Um, yesterday, I was working on installing some of the libraries. Mm, yeah, that's my update. Any major blockers that you, uh, uh, any blockers at all? Uh, insta yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only installing some of the applications, I was like getting some errors, but I think uh, it might be the connection. Uh, I'm, oh. I have already like started asking some of my team members and uh, yeah, they're helping me out. Okay. Okay. That's very good to hear. Thank you. So you are all, um, yeah. you are good to go for the interim submission today. Yeah, all right. That's good. Thank yes. you very much. Can yes. you pick the next person? With LMC. Excellent, Sisay. Can you join us? Hello. Good morning, Hi. everyone. Good morning. Okay, so I'm um, in the same group as Mike, and we had a meeting uh, today, and I think everything is going good so far. We are having constant meetings, and we're trying to get out uh, how to do everything. And one question that I have is on interim submission one and then task one, it says to uh, provide the work plan submission and then uh, how we are dividing the tasks and the work plan. So is it going to be a report or something or are we just going to submit the GitHub issues that we have created? Is that enough or are we going to uh, do another report for task one and then another one for task three? Um, the, the GitHub issues and project that you have set up would, um, would count for the tasks that has been defined and then the team, I mean, the members that are responsible for it. Um, having, having a PDF report, uh, I'm not sure how to do that. I have a book, I can um, jump in. Okay, please. So I think it's a good question. I think it's up to you. You have that freedom, but what we want to see is that it's clearly planned what has to get done by when, by who and how those different things coordinate. So I, we don't have, you don't need a specific report if you have a detailed enough table. So you have some flexibility there. Okay, thanks. So. The, the main point is, so let's assume that we're the client and we mm -hmm. want some idea of um, how you're breaking down the task so that we can also say, look, this seems realistic or this sounds good and this is who I can uh, loop back to to figure out who's working on what. Mm -hmm. okay. 
right. Thank you, Betula. Can you pick the next person? Should I pick someone? Uh, Bakar? Yes, please. Okay, Binam can go ahead. Binam Sisa. Okay. Um, did you pick not now, Sisa? Is that what you said? No, I I picked Binam Sisa, but he has already left, I guess, so not now can continue. Okay. Not now, Sisa. Okay, good morning, guys. Good morning. So uh, I'm in the same group with Bethlehem, and uh, we were discussing on the project uh, today also before the meeting. Uh, and today, like I'm trying to set up and install uh, Kafka and other environments, also try to understand some of the concepts and how we could apply it on our project. Uh, for the interim submission, uh, we have planned to uh, separate tasks and uh, move on with it and meet before the submission time. Any major apart from setting up the installation and the development environment, any major block that you face it? Okay, for me personally, I have been trying. I've been reading the document, and uh, the task I was assigned was on the uh, JavaScript tag, and uh, I was a little bit. I need. I need to read more about it, but I don't know how I could apply it to the project. So I might figure it out or ask on the Rocket chat. Okay, we will look forward to your questions on Rocket Chat. And then you can ask your team members too. All right, thank you very much, Nathan. Um, can you pick the next person? Okay. Uh, is Bezawit here? Bezawit Ella? Bezawit Ella? Yes, she's here. Bezawit Ella? Good morning, everyone. Can I go down below? Yeah, so with my team, we did uh, we did discuss and we did also divide up the tasks and um, personally i am trying to uh, install the kafka on ec2 aws instance on free tire and I have, i'm i'm in kind of facing this uh, blocker and how to install like is it like do we need a python like a specific version of the the kafka I'm trying to figure out that, so we will continue on the on the submission and how to work on that. And as a team, I think we did uh, we did the issue and we did also the task division. So I think we're gonna submit on time. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, the Kafka thing that you are setting up, are you setting it up locally or on AWS? On AWS. Okay, and then um, what's the like the error that you get in? Um, uh, like I'm confused that the people are working on different Kafka version, and I'm mm -hmm. not sure which, which Kafka version I'm I'm going I'm going to use like for the project. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, I I think the Kafka version does not like um have much significance in like in this project. Okay. And you can probably just use like the most recently released um, Kafka version, which is like 2.16 uh, or something. So I, I think it should work fine. And mm -hmm. if you are experimenting with AWS uh, on your own, I think that's like another um, great way to go about it. And very yes. well done. Thank you. Okay. In case you have like specific questions, just ask on Rocket Chat so that uh, um, the community can benefit from the knowledge as well. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Can you pick the next person? Um, Blaze. Blaze. Oh, oh. Uh, good morning to everyone. I hope everyone is doing okay. As for me, uh, I've actually met a meeting uh, today as well. So we're just trying to figure out. Uh, we've done uh, some part of the front part and we had split tasks. So yeah, so we're just trying to ensure that by the end of today we have some used to at least have Kafka installed and probably can move on to uh installing other stuff like Airflow and the producers as well. Okay. That's uh that's very good. Any any blockers are you facing currently? Hmm, I think probably it's my 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 machine with the Docker is quite uh flimsy. So I'm just trying to sort it out. I think it's it's true with my hardware compatibility with Docker as well. It's just trying to figure it out. Okay. Okay. 
the uh, the Windows um, users are kind of like experiencing some difficulties in terms of setting up um, Kafka and uh, the rest of that. But I think you'll figure it out at the same time. Using the Docker Docker Compose might just be like the best way to tackle it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Blaze. Um, can you pick the next question? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Uh, toy is if toy is around. Toy. Um, yeah. Uh, if she needs to go with toys. Ah, good morning. Did he say Boris? I think it's uh, Toyin, but immediately after Toyin, Boris, you can go ahead. Toyin? Okay. And join us? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we want your um, updates, what's the progress like in your group and you individually, and uh, are you all, I mean, is, is it all good on your side in terms of the interim submission and then your feel about this week's challenge? Um, yes, uh, my group is good. We've, uh, we've done some things um, for the interim. So the submissions, I'm going to start working on them today. And we have we have a meeting after the stand-up this morning. So we'll go forward from there. Okay. Any any major blockers that you face? No, no. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, good to know. Thank you very much, Boi. Um, Boris? Boris, me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's you. Okay. Morning, all of you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm in group one. I'm with Binyam Sise, Stacey Kibika, yeah, and the others in the same group. So we've been working and we are still, hmm, some of us are still connecting to the, we're still creating a three node Kafka. Kafka cluster, mm. so that we can proceed. And I'm supposed okay. to to do on the customer. That's what I'm going to try to do after this. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Louis. So all is good for the intern submission, right? Yeah, I hope so. We still have some hmm, some few hours. We'll yeah. try. Yeah. That's that's very well. Thank you. Um Jibura Gabrielis, can you join us this morning? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Good morning, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, yesterday we had a couple of meetings. And I think we're a bit behind because just because we haven't uh, divided the tasks yet. Uh, but we have uh, an overview of how the project is going to go. We have a work plan and we have a workflow. And personally, I'm having some problems installing the uh, Kafka and uh, the other uh, the the other things, but. Uh, we're going to have uh, a meeting just after the stand-up. So I think we'll try to do our best for the interim report. OK. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Azaria Tamrat, can you join us? Um, yeah. uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, so um, I think the biggest issue has been um, downloading the files because um, like most of uh, I've, I've been using uh, Docker to Docker containers. So um, downloading MLflow, um, downloading Kafka images, uh, downloading all those has been uh, a challenge. Um, but I think for the interim submission, uh, 
it's all good. And since um, everything's probably going to be cached after the initial download, I think uh, everything will be good after that. Um, downloading what exactly is this uh, program? Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm using Docker Compose um, to try it out on the local machine, and it's taking a lot of time. Yeah, uh, building the images usually takes a lot of uh, long time, and probably uh, depending on the number of um, uh, image uh, that you're trying to like build, then it will take a lot of time to set it up. Yeah, it can be an editor. Um, well, I think once like we get uh, AWS access to the groups, I think that will like resolve a lot of issues as to what Kafka I'm setting up Kafka cluster by the installation files and the rest of that. I think that would like uh, help uh, over all of those uh, lapses. So yeah, um, thank you very much, Azaria. Um, Kate, Kate and Jupy. Morning. Good morning. Um, so we had a meeting before the stand up where we were just giving updates on because we had, we assigned the tasks yesterday, so we we're just checking on progress so far. Um, and yeah, we should have another one before the meeting, the daily session with you and Mallet. Um, yeah, so for the interim, I think we'll be able to submit something at least. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make sure that something is uh, worth well, and then you know it's towards getting you job ready. So make yeah. sure it's in all the required efforts. Thank you very much, Kate. Um, uh, same Michael. Can you join us this morning? Um, hello. Hi. Um, good morning. Um, so the task I was assigned is working on the JavaScript tag for interacting with the publishing to the Kafka. I've been working on that and I decided to use the Node.js client for Kafka and I've just been working on that. I haven't completed it yet since I only started it last night, but I hopefully can get it done before the afternoon or at least figure out the majority of the steps and then talk to the rest of the team about how we're going to structure the topics and how we are going to deal with the files and stuff like that yeah so that's okay what i have so uh, far and i had a great morning mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you very much see that's very good to hear uh Let's see. Uh, Tyrat Ainde, can you join us? Oh, Milky. Just immediately we answer uh, Milky's question. Tyrat, please join us. Uh, yes, go ahead, Milky. Oh, okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So I have one question. Like, um, rather than using JavaScript to communicate with the uh, Kafka, uh, I was thinking of uh, using a, a simple Python server, and the Python will handle every request. Like communication, processing the data, and whatsoever, and um, only we will be using the JavaScript like uh, to pass the request to the Python server. Is that possible? That was my question. I think you should um, try as many different methods as you can, and you know just deliver the end uh, product. As is that like visible to do? I think you should try it out. I, I think we need major reason. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I'm using that is like we, we need to use the S3 bucket, right? To store the audio files. Yes, you're going to get an S3 bucket. So like to 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 communicate with the S3 servers, I was planning on using the Boto3 module for Python for creating the bucket and communicating, uploading the files and downloading the files and uh, so on. Yes. So uh if i'm using python to do that uh i need a rather than communicating with the kafka through the javascript or node uh, node client i was thinking of using uh, python itself yeah you can try that out 
I think we only uh, we all, uh, we're only suggesting um, JavaScript such that you have like like the initial thought was like you get a tag from the JavaScript and then because JavaScript gives you uh, this communication to both the, the server side as well as the, your client side and then we're just thinking maybe JavaScript will be the best way to go and that's just a suggestion from our side so if you find a better way of doing it I think you should try it out. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Hayat? Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah, so <clears throat> my team and I, we've, um, we've worked significantly. <clears throat> we've been able to divide the tasks to each other, and um, we've been working locally on our system. We've been able to download Kafka and also create a topic. And um, for now, we are working towards submission for today. So we are working towards having our reports while we wait on um, <clears throat> while we wait to be assigned to the AWS so we can just implement what we've done locally there and then we move on to tax two. But so far, so good. It has been, it has been good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, any major blockers from your side? Nothing? Uh, no, for now, no blockers. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um, Dalalam Gitaho? Okay. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Right. Good morning. Okay. I'm the same group as Karat. And uh, as you said, we have managed to install locally uh, Kafka and try out to create topics. And I think we'll be able to submit on time for today's submission. Uh, as for yeah. the blockers, personally, uh, I'm having a common cold and uh, I haven't had uh, power. Uh, from last night till now, and I hope it will come soon so that I'll get ready for the submission on time. Okay, um, do take care of your um, health, it's very um, important. So, um, do take care of your health, and then we hope they resolve the power issue soon. I think last night, this morning, yeah, that's still fair in terms of where I am living, but it's good. Uh, thank you very much, Salala. Um, Jakinda, you had raised your hand, but then you dropped it. So you're up next. Uh, uh, it was by mistake, but okay, it's good. Uh, so we're, we're in the group, we're doing, we, we split the task and uh, Kate and Les and, Se and Sam have talked about it. I was assigned uh, setting up the Kafka cluster with Papa and uh, Nibiu, but my my Docker wasn't working, so I I, I shared uh, resources with Papa, and uh, he did he was able to do the implementation. So I'm I'm fixing my Docker right now, and then uh, I think uh, so that you can replicate what Papa has done. Uh, so that uh, I also, apart from just uh, having the rough knowledge of the theoretical part so that I can also put it in practice so on my side, even though he has already pushed uh, the work on GitHub there. So yeah. That's, what I'm to do. That, that's a very good um, effort, um, Jackina. I think it's, you know, to get you the, your own um, experience, it's nice if you have set it up on your own and then have the experience of how it works. And if you do manage to solve the Docker issue, do a uh, post on RocketChat so that anybody that's like experiences the same thing, they won't have to like struggle too much and then they'll Able to fix it, okay? Yeah, uh, the, 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 the first issue that I had was about uh enabling his uh Hyper V that I think I did, and now the second stuff is installing WSL, which uh, same sent me a document that I'm going to install after the stand up. Okay. Then I'll just comment in the rocket chat. Yeah, all right, thank you very much, Jack Um, Elias, morning, everyone. Good morning. So like like everyone, we have created some structure, like structure of the project. 
and we tried to figure out the pipeline yesterday. Uh, we didn't really divide the tasks. We have a meeting today, like after now. So we hope we can divide the task and complete on time. My question is like for the interim submission, like I don't know what are the deliverables. Like is it going to be a PDF report or our GitHub? Like I need some clarification on that. Um, it, it can be a PDF report or it can be in an email format or it, it, um, it can be probably a, a, a git of issues where you have like set up um, what is required by who and who is delivering what and what you're working on and now you have like break down all of the tasks as to how to um, get to the end product of what has been asked for this particular week. Okay. Yeah. So you can just be creative about it and choose one. The one you see that like answers the questions that has been asked. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, muted our Sorry, just help me understand your question. What, so the, everyone's asking similar questions. Which part is not clear? There's the work plan, there's the report to the client, and there's the creation of the Kafka cluster. So what's everyone's asking the same question. So Elias, can you help me understand your question? OK, like, so for example, creating the Kafka cluster is like one terminal. Like, we run some commands, and then like we create a topic. So the problem is on the report, like are we going, to, what I'm going to ask him was like, are we going, going to write the report or like the structure of the project and how it actually helps the company to solve this problem? So I, I think what we're asking for is two group submissions. The first one is um, some proof that your Kafka cl cluster has been created. So it's written here. Um, a successfully created Kafka topic in Kafka cluster. I don't fully understand what, I don't understand the technical details, but if you can prove that it, you have a topic in the cluster, I think that's sufficient for that submission. For item number one, we want a very clear work plan, and that should be, it doesn't have to be a long report, it could be a really nice detailed schedule. And then number three is individual submissions, uh, an email update to your client. Uh, on the third one, can you clarify the third So ask, ask me some questions. Meaning like, meaning like, if I go to the top, I'm trying to find. Okay, so like, the third question asks for like a detailed diagram of the, I think it's the architecture of the project. Yeah. So like, we are going to do it in a group, like for example, in our group, we have created some architecture and pipelines. So like, how is that going to be individual submission if we are already done, done it in a group? So it's, consider it like this, even if you're implementing the work in the group, what is super important for us right now, you're, you'll do the interviews. Well, let me just change my headphones. One second. So you will do the interview, you will do the submissions in a group, right? But everyone will interview themselves. So it's important for us that each and every person understands how these different elements fit together. So even though you're doing the work in a group, the point is that each and every person needs to understand how these different elements fit together. So what I would suggest is you guys are doing the group, but the reporting is separate. Even if your uh, diagram is similar and there's not that many different architectures that you're going to use, you can, at the end, you're describing the work that you were doing jointly, but everyone must write the report themselves. Why? Because when you get to an interview, it's really important to us that you understand, each and every person understands how these are put together. Why? Um, why are we forcing you to write? Just like Ting said yesterday, why do people blog? To a certain extent, you blog because it forces you to write things down and it tests your own knowledge. So even if your architecture is the exact same, everyone has to write their own report explaining how these fit together. And the, the point is, how is your architecture and the diagram that you're providing, how is that 
giving them the data that needs that's going to improve their speech to text model. So okay, so like, yeah. Okay, if I understand clearly, like on for the first one, it would be like division of the tasks. Like it's going to be how the, we divide the tasks to individuals. For the second submission, we'll with, be like with a, with a schedule, in, with a schedule. So not just who's doing what, but who's doing what by when. Okay. So for the second part, it would be like screen capture of like the topics and while they're communicating. And the third part would be individual, like our architecture and explanation for the client. Exactly. And how they different, how they fit together. So what is Kafka doing? What is Airflow doing? What is Spark doing? And the point is, how is all of this fitting together to provide in, uh, data to improve the speech to text model? Okay, thanks. That's yeah. Okay. Um, thank you very much, um, Aaron. In case anybody has any other burning questions, you can just ask on Rocket Chat and tag um, any of the tutors, and then we'll be happy to um, answer them. Uh, this brings us to the end of the standup for today, and then we'll catch you all on um, Rocket Chat.